sorry guys, just trying to get through the, uh, the squish here, then I can concentrate on the, on, the, on the phone, on the question, sorry, just give me a few minutes. horrible I mean it's just the sun went I mean literally between going in and having lunch coming back outside the sun went it's like oh, where's the sun let me cross over it's quiet on the other side uh, welcome back everybody much quicker than I was expected which was uh, delightful it really takes flippy ages for them to bring the food so I don't know I just got lucky today so uh, all taken care of power done food done drink done other stuff done now I can focus for the last hour. Let me get myself back to and uh, make sure 100%. I think I'll just, just about, if I'm lucky, make it for the uh, three o'clock inspection inside. Maybe, it's gonna be very tight. It's now 53. And uh, they typically close the gates at around about 56. I might just make it. It's gonna be very, very, very tight. If I do get through it, I'll be literally the last person through. So trying to uh, walk a sort of double time here to get there so I'll be quiet for a few minutes over let me just get myself to horse guards and try and get through that gate it'd be a dreadful shame I have to watch the last one outside but let's see it's gonna be very 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 tight kinds of nutters from the uh, extinction rebellion Protests are out and about. Myself down there, etc. ASAP. Two minutes away. That was 50. Foot. Might just make it. It's going to be by. Uh, A miracle if I manage to get through the gate. One second. It's mercifully not raining, even though it's a little bit, uh, a little bit damp. If I do manage to get in there, it's going to be pretty, pretty busy inside. <laughs> Second, everyone, head inside. Right, here we are, just made it through the gate. Thank goodness. I spy with my little light a spot. Why? Because most of the tourists have no flipping clue they're in the wrong place. That's why. Right, get on the. Uh, the only trouble is, everyone, that um, the spot that I'm on uh, is exactly where the guard needs to come through. So I'm going to be mega, mega mindful of the fact that the guard's right behind me. Because in a minute everyone's going to push across. A lot of push chairs to my left. Uh, Arch is right there, so it's going to be very, very close. I'm literally standing where the guard needs to come, but so is everyone else. So let's see. And I'm going to be super mindful of the guard. I really don't want to get owned on my own channel. Uh, we're, we're here for the guard change, it's about to start. Everyone's going to get moved back in a second to where I am. That tourist not listening. Second white line, everyone. Officers explained it to them, but obviously they don't quite get it. So make it very clear to everyone behind me. People are still not getting it. Wrong line. Behind the line, guys, it means behind where I am. Otherwise, they're going to tell you to move anyway. Chap, careful, 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 careful. Are you pushing? Come on, grow up, be a man, be respectful. Am I pushing you? Seriously, don't make me angry. You don't want to see that. You really don't want to see that. We go through the Tukor yeah? No, we're not speaking Russian. Super. I'm also English, my sweetheart, so don't. let's not even bother going there, yeah? Let's not even bother going. No, 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 not frozen, guys, not frozen, not frozen. I paused it. You can probably guess why, it's the usual reason. Don't worry, guys, no, no, all good, all good. 
It's the same problem, so for too many people, not enough space. The second white line, which obviously is uh, is the important part, is completely rammed. I mean, it always is. So hey, what a surprise! No, no, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can touch pet, whatever, etc. I'll go into a little more detail in a second, everyone. They're actually letting people go out. I think some people have actually got tired of the fact that the line is so squashed today. Uh, they've given up and they're going out the front gate. I mean, look, all the way around, in fact, all the way past the arches, everybody. And the majority of people, including uh, uh, all the regulars, are outside at the front. So we got very, very lucky with this. Uh, that's a very good question. I can't actually see it here. I think it's one of the uh, neon lights up in the accommodation above the stables. Occasionally, yeah, it flashes a little bit. I know it shows up more in the camera than it does in real life. I can't see it. But when I look at the, uh, yeah, it looks like somebody's sort of signaling in Morse code. I'm wondering if that's Karen trying to type out in Morse code. Guys, I'm here, they're holding me. Can somebody rescue me? But you know what? Nah, nobody's going to... Uh, to rescue her, I can tell you that straight off. Yeah, I got the, the helicopter above as well, etc. etc. going to be very 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 tight because the spot that the horse needs to enter has all of these people in it so either the guard is going to take it a lot wider or the horse is going to pretty much force everybody back when it comes across the front here across the uh, across the parade in front of us we'll see Horses. Again, it's the same two that were on the shift before last. Going to be very tight here. They're not going to be able to go into, inside the white lines. Too many people, including the woman who's right in front of me on the floor. I mean, just how ridiculous is that with a child? Some people not getting it at all, guys. Literally, what a surprise! in a few minutes why I had to pause the live you're going to be shocked why, uh, why I had to pause it So I'm not sure what's happening, why the guards for guard. I'm going to focus on him anyway. I'm still not sure whether he's going to come out. Horses are finished, they've changed over anyway. Three is definitely a guard, a foot guard change, 100%. Anyway, let me get close to the archers, I'll tell you what happened. 
Okay, so you saw all these people come over, etc. There was a slightly, I don't know, how to say this, slightly chubby idiot who thought he was just going to push me out of the way and make some space. He said something to his girlfriend, whatever, and I thought that, they, that he said it to her in Russian. So straight away, I said to him, like, you know, which means, like, you're a total idiot or what? And he said, oh, I don't speak Russian, we're from Ukraine. I said, if you're from Ukraine, move out of the effing way, otherwise I'm going to move you, chap. I said, either move, get away from me right now, or I'm going to physically move you. Obviously, he didn't want to get into an argument in front of his girlfriend, the police are standing right in front of me. What an entitled little prick, honestly. This sometimes is why Ukrainians really annoy me. They are so fucking arrogant. You know, in this country, getting support from us, troops, money, and they think they're just going to come here and push it on the line? No chance. Absolutely no chance at all. If he pushed me back, honestly, guys, this is why I paused it. Obviously, I don't want to, uh, you know, get into a fight on the line, but it's not happening. It is not happening with me. No chance. Everybody else was being polite. This dickhead thought he was just going to push straight in and push me out of the way. It's like, poop. are you stupid? <laughs> are you stupid or what? You know, wrong person, like massively the wrong person. The, not, the crazy thing about it is if they had been Russians, that would not have happened. Really, really annoys me. I've lived in both countries. I've lived in... Uh, I've lived in Kiev briefly uh, and in certain parts of eastern Ukraine near Mykolaiv, but it just, yeah, sometimes that arrogance really annoys me. Respect the host country. I, ha I would not go to another country and start pushing people out of the way. And then the girl's like, oh, you know, we're not Russians, but we speak the language. I'm like, well, I'm English, sweetheart. I speak both. So basically, tell your boyfriend to shut up. I wasn't going to lose my temper. Lucky they did and they got lost, but just, that's not on, especially not here at Horse Guards. Anyway, let's get back out the front. So the positivity, everybody. First time I ever paused my own life to deal with a potential problem. Idiots. I hope they're watching. If, they, if you are watching, two idiots, don't come back. Unbelievable. Right, back at the front with climate change fruit loop weirdos from Ghostbusters and God knows what else, honestly. I mean, just like, what? I swear that they must have closed the mental hospitals recently because I've never seen so many fruit loops in one, uh, in one day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what happens I'm next. <laughs> yeah, Eid, Eid was yesterday. Uh, I think Eid was yesterday. Oh, first one to spot him. Make way! <laughs> Oops. I was lucky, everybody. I mean, I literally got him super close up. He screamed in their faces. The two old guys who just screamed out our English, they were just like, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Pass out on the floor. I was just about to call an ambulance. You see that? It was super loud. In fact, I don't forget, he literally just came out. He just came out of the guard room on duty. So, of course, you know, his voice is nicely polished to deal with tourist discipline issues, should we say, here uh, here at Horse Guards, love it. That was a, that was a beautifully loud make way. Oh, God's face. Uh, classic. As the French would say, classic. <laughs> say classic. classic. Honestly, oh, wow, that was just completely and utterly insane. Boom. Crazy. I think that was going to be the make way of the week, actually. Certainly the make way of the day. Wow. Oh, the horse is way back in the box. I'm not even sure which guard is on the horse. Wait. Oh, another one of my favourite cars, in fact. This guy is this guy's probably looking a bit a bit sad right now because he's uh, he's in the box. What does that mean? It means he can't shout at, uh, at tourists who get in his way when he's uh, when he's doing his duty on foot. But yeah, the horse is well back though, etc. Et in the box at the moment. Probably happy because in uh, 53 minutes, luckily. Uh, you know, for the garden, for the horse. Done. When I go back in the second, hey, Carolyn, I'll, uh, I'll check with with the police whether or not there will be an end of the inspection. I mean, things have died down massively on Whitehall, so I don't at the moment see a reason why there would not be an end of day inspection, but I'll clarify. I'll, uh, I'll obviously make sure for you guys.
Yeah, looking particularly grand actually with uh, with the Union flag hanging directly over. A lot, lots and lots of drama here today, everybody. That's just joining or didn't see the live earlier. Um, a hell of a lot of drama. Some of the videos already uploaded, but all of the shouts, and there were a lot of very, very, very loud shouts today, right in Tori's faces, um, including the one a few minutes ago. Um, I will put up tonight. That one just now was just, wow. That one made me jump, and I was right there. Crazy, in a good way. Like really crazy in a good way. Welcome everybody that's watching. Yup, a horse is literally just like, oh, you look at the camera, hello, that's right. Horse is happy, look, he's trying to talk to us. Can anybody lip read? What's the horse trying to say, everyone? I thought he said, wait, what did he say? Lon 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 London City, wait, what? Did London, London City, oh, London City Walks. Oh, wow, I'm shocked. Wait, does that mean the horse watches the channel? All the horses are the same colour. The horses are all Irish draft, um, so yes, they are. Um, in fact, on the, on the Guardian website, it refers to the fact that all of the horses, except that's right, we're talking about you, beautiful horse, except the uh, the drum major's horse uh, are black, and the other horse is grey. Drum major's horse is grey. So black horses, except for the drum major's horse. Yeah, <laughs> the, the channel horse. Magnificent beast, this one. Lots and lots of pace still. Back and forwards, back and forwards. I think the Extinction Rebellion nonsense at the other end is... Uh, is well, I, mean, I certainly hope it's pretty much calmed down. So does the horse, don't you? Yes, you do, boy. I can tell you do. And uh, to be honest... Actually, you know what? I have a, a sneaking suspicion, everybody, that this magnificent horse here might well be the biggest horse in the troop. I'm going to try and find out if I can, but I think that this horse might well be Overlord, who obviously is a massive horse. Um, 18 odd hands, I think. 17 and a half, 18 hands. Look, just looks familiar. It's the mane. Just looks very, very familiar. Yeah, absolutely magnificent horse. And not all of the troopers ride this horse because he's so big. Oh, 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 okay. oh somebody just got screamed. Oh, this, this tourist here with the glasses just got screamed at because he stuck his nose around the arches to see what's going on and the guard obviously screamed get out get out of the arches was it this guy did you see did he scream at this guy the guard did he shout i don't know oh it's okay i'm sorry it's okay because <laughs> we're trying to ask a question the voice doesn't understand so, so yeah the uh it was this guy here the one with his back to us he just got screamed at massively let's see what's happening on the other side we haven't actually seen anybody getting massively screamed at in the arches for ages because those key moments are often missed, obviously, because we're outside and we can't be in two places or indeed four places at once. See so if anyone else gets too close or, you know, pushes against the chain. He's on guard. A good aspect here, actually, with uh, the entire arch above the frame. Uh, I haven't seen any crazy Karens or Sharons, luckily. Uh, hopefully there won't be any either. Mum, take a picture. Do you want a picture with it? I have to take a picture. I want to take Again, this, uh, this guy we often see on horseback. I'm hearing a lot of, what do you call it, drums out on the, uh, out on Whitehall. One second, somebody's going out on, on, on Whitehall. The woman got his smile. One second, I'm hearing a massive amount of drumming. What the hell is this? More idiots, probably. Oh God, here we go. Get ready for it, everyone. Horses are going to get freaked out now, I'm sure. Oh god, here we go. The next bunch of morons. Anybody know which flag this is, everyone? It's red at the top, blue in the middle, orange at the bottom. Anyone know which flag this is? Which country or whatever peculiar cause that this is? One second, let me ask the photographer. Do you know which country flag this is? Which country, Sorry. Which country is the flag? Any idea that they have here? Which, which country is this? I don't know, actually. I've just come across it myself. It's curious, isn't it? Is, is that what that says? It's not Turkey flag. I have no idea which flag that is. Very curious. I must say I don't know. Sorry. It never ends here, does it? It never ends. Thank you. I have no idea. Anybody, anybody know? Uh, you know what? I've just figured out. Armenian. Armenian flag. We're talking about Turkish genocide, so it's, it's going to be an Armenian flag, 100%. So the second we've finished, 
here comes a huge Armenian protest. It never ends, yeah. Is it, it can, no, it can't be, it's not a Colombian flag. Why on earth with Colombians? No, it says that on the thing, the Armenian genocide. Armenians. 100% it's an Armenian, Armenian flag. Nothing to interview them about, this as far as I'm concerned, has got nothing to do at all with the United Kingdom. Simple as that, that's my own personal view on this. Am I from the press? No, I'm just a curious bystander. You know, I have no interest in getting into you know, interviewing people about political matters. This is not a political channel. I'm happy occasionally if people want to talk to me, but strictly speaking, Armenian genocide, you know, that's an internal issue for Armenia and Turkey. It's got nothing to do with the United Kingdom. Yeah, justice. Well, I mean, justice from, uh, I'm guessing, from, uh, as they see it, you know, Turkish persecution, genocide. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go back across, concentrate on the forces. Oh, almost got myself killed then. Lucky I stopped to look for a moment there. Otherwise, I just would have been uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken by a, a speeding police car on an emergency. Anyway, so that was yet another one. We had this fruitly women earlier, dressed in red. Armenian genocide. I'm mean, just like, what? <sighs> you know, the United Kingdom and London in particular are cradles of democracy. We all know that, but my goodness me. I wonder how much this costs the police every single weekend. Yeah, quite literally. I need to have uh, eyes all over the place for this. It's just, it never, never ends. You saw today was chaos beyond belief. From the second we arrived here, there was something. It started so peacefully and beautifully with the uh, St. George's Day Memorial at the Cenotaph and then just went to, I don't even know how to describe it, chaos. Sent into chaos, everybody. I think is what we, uh, what we saw today here in central London. So good one. You know, at least we don't have any power issues right now. Everything's under control power-wise, which is good. Kind of. Okay, all good cable-wise. Oops. Sorry, folks, there we are. If I had the time and there wasn't you know, more interesting things, either horse and tourists to film, I would like to know why they're protesting on Whitehall and what they're actually hoping to achieve by it. I mean, yes, of course, uh, the, you know, as a base, public awareness. But what do they want? I mean, what are they asking for? British troops to go and fight for Armenians in Turkey? It's just, I, don't, I just don't get it. What's the point? How tall am I? Uh, six, six, two. Give or take uh, a quarter of a centimetre. Oh. Second, the other horse, other box man is shouting, screaming. I don't know who or why he's screaming, but as somebody, somebody, I think, just too close to the horse. One second, even the police came out. right behind me with a child in the push chair, honestly. With a horse running around the middle of the road. Some people. Okay. 
I, I knew the horse would get freaked out because of those idiots with, with the drums. I knew it. It was inevitable. The guard, like an absolute super, super champ, maintained his call, got it under control. Massive respect to the guard for that. Amazing thing to see. He really, really kept that under control. You saw that horse was furious briefly then, massively freaked out because of the drums. There, there were drums. There was uh, this bunch of Armenian protesters. This is why it really annoyed me when I was talking about it before. They come along here, oh, you know, Turkish genocide. And what do you expect us to do about it in London? I just, I don't get it. Anyway, so that's what freaked out the horse. Uh, I'm glad we captured that, but more importantly, I'm glad that all is well. God had it massively under control. Huge respect to that man for uh, for keeping that under control. That could have very quickly, the horse was the closest I've ever seen to the bollards here. And it literally stepped one back, one, one or two steps back would have knocked somebody over. Crazy. I really personally think they should stop political protests along Whitehall. There's no need for it. Let them do it in Trafalgar Square, etc. Of course, everybody wants to go along Whitehall because it means they can go past Downing Street. But I, I just personally see no absolute, you know, essential need for it. Yeah, I mean, the fact that even the uh, the NCO, this, this chap here on the left is the current NCO, not, not commissioned officer, here at Horse Guards uh, with the Blues and Royals. The fact that he came out, obviously, to check and every, everything was OK. That, that, that was pretty serious. He would not have come out unless it was pretty serious. I didn't see whether or not the guard pushed the panic button. Did anybody see whether he pushed the, uh, the panic button there? If he didn't, that's even more of uh, an amazing thing. And that's what it's for, fundamentally, when something goes very wrong. And, uh, and he needs somebody to come out of the guard room, i.e. this chap or one of these squaddies, uh, to, to help by holding the reins. He did, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't see it, everybody. I was, I was obviously focusing on not knocking anyone over. And honestly, I bashed into a girl, a small child, in a pushchair behind me. That's why I said to her, look out, this woman's right, right behind me with a tiny kid in a pushchair. Unbelievable. Some people are just, just not paying attention. Extraordinary. Yeah, God. What can I say, you know? I mentioned when we first got here today and we saw this guy. He never fails to impress. Brilliant, brilliant job. Never, ever loses his call, this guy. Just like the other one that we saw a few minutes ago in the, in the arch, the other guy in the arch. Super chilled dude. That was the closest I've ever seen it. I get to the... Have you seen it go in the road before? R oh, really? Uh, scary stuff. Oops, sorry. It's okay. All the way down there. The man over there, see the guy walking out? Uh-huh. It was secret. Because he's coming up. Oh, is it this idiot here again? Is he the one that scared the horse? Ah, everybody. Apparently, it's this stupid fruit loop in front of us. This idiot guy here with a rucksack. Karen. Yeah, Ka male Kevin, we'll call him. Male version of, uh, of Karen. He scared the horse. Dickhead. <laughs> I don't know who he is or why he's hanging around, but yeah, a friend of mine said uh, it was him. I think this is probably, to be honest, why the police are on the gate here, watching out what's going on. Not a nice thing to see, actually. So first the drums came along, made the horse a little bit nervous, then that fruit loop was right in front of the horse, and it all kicked off. Very, very smelly here, actually, this afternoon, really smelly. He's the one who got bit. Good, serves him right. Flipping deserves to get bitten. It's only a matter of time until he gets moved on. The police are standing right next to the gate. So if he comes back or interferes again, I'm sure they'll uh, get rid of him. Hopefully, anyway. Ridiculous. He's going to stay here for a little bit. Carl is, uh, is hyper-professional. Amazing to see this. Yeah, exactly. Give the guard a medal, give the horse two medals. All is back to normal, look at that. Good horse here. And as I said to you earlier when we were watching from the side, this horse is enormous. It could have easily trampled over multiple people without even feeling it. It's a beast of a horse.
Apparently, uh, Alex told us during the live, on, uh, Alex, one of the guards, told us that the largest horse they have is just over 17 and a half hands. Um, I don't think this is the single largest horse. I think it's probably one of the largest horses. Uh, if I see anyone comes out, anyone come out, sorry, like the squaddy, I will make a point of asking him which horse this is. It does look familiar to me. I'm pretty sure it's o Overlord. It's crazy that somebody would take their little teeny weeny kid this close after what we just saw. Anything in the second go wrong, and the horse is massive. It, the horse probably stands about seven foot tall, to be honest. I'm, I'm six two and it's massively above me. I think this is why everyone's intrigued with this horse here because he's a magnificent, beautiful beast of, a, of an animal. Hopefully, he's settled down now after getting a little bit freaked out. Shows how sensitive they are, no? Despite being uh, military horses. Yeah, it's. You know, that said, you know, I didn't quite capture because I was obviously focusing on the horse, but everybody scattered here, myself included, uh, when the horse went a little bit crazy. He probably knows. I mean, everyone's getting very close again. Look, they're trying to ask something, but he won't respond, other than a nod of the head if somebody asks if they can pet the horse. out for the guard coming back out of the gate. <laughs> oh god, here we go again everybody. Some other weird fruit loop is going, what's this? It's when you get weirdos coming along with all sorts of, you know, peculiar objects or signs or umbrellas or just something weird that, you know, that isn't a normal sight. That's often when the horse goes a little bit, you know, this kind of stuff. Like, I mean, what, what is this? You kind of have to wonder, you know, what is the point? Parents for future. <sighs> Goodness me. What can you say about that? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Let's have a look at the other horse. One second, everybody. Let's have a look at the other horse instead. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would have felt sorry for my future if, uh, if I grew up with Fruit Loop parents. Sometimes it just seems that common sense is, uh, is severely lacking. Honestly, it's, it's sort of like an out, a special outpatient day. I wonder if sort of Broadmoor was closed for cleaning or something. And they let them all out on the same day. I've never seen so many, I don't know what to call them. Anyway, yeah, fruit loop, literally more fruit loops than a sweet shop. Feed them. Yeah, I'm going to feed them these two idiots here in a second. I don't know which cause this is. Um, I can't read what the badge has got on the other side. Oh, somebody else just got screamed out to get out of the archers. Oh, the horse is literally licking her face. I think he's mistaking her for uh, for a sweet. Trying to lick her face. How many people? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's nibbling this little man super brave super brave the little man they could have gotten uh, gotten bitten on the shoulder by the horse yeah. 
it's amazing and coincidental. A lot of, uh, whoop, hold on one second, everyone. A lot of tourists here are wearing fruit the loom clothing. I wonder why. Make way! I just shouted make way and the guys in the box are shouting hands off the reins and you're watching this guy it's just like what is going on here it's almost like everybody lost their common sense extraordinary to see extraordinary thing to hear today and people just screaming and stuff uh, yeah I knew that he would when he came out he screamed at the, uh, the, the lady and her husband there uh, but obviously they, they, they want to have a close look they don't want to move on they're just kind of like, okay, okay, we'll make way. But can we watch? Like, we want to watch. Even if we make way, can we watch? It's extraordinary, isn't it? Make way. This dog is going to need to make way in a second. Down there on the floor, look. Oh. Oh. Luckily, despite the zillion people filming, um, nobody was in the guard's way. Extraordinary. That was the first time I've ever seen the guard shout, make way. And then behind him, the guard in the box shouted, leant down and verbally shouted, get your hands off the reins or hands off the reins. That was unique. Never, ever, ever seen that happen before. One, then the other, almost immediately. So we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of first time events here today. From the horse being loaded into the box, so the horse almost going past the bollards. So that. Sorry? I think this, uh, this horse has got a, a bit of a sweet tooth. Obviously he likes Fruit Loops, as you just saw. Uh, not that I've ever seen. I've asked a few people that have been doing this for a long time. Someone I know has been doing this for 12 years. Um, he, he said he's never seen that. But we're going to see something. Oh, he's not coming out. He's not coming out. I thought he was coming out. <laughs> Oops. Okay, the guard's safely back in the arches. I say safely, safely on, on the part of the tourists. <laughs> Unbelievable, literally. <laughs> oh. You see that everywhere, just as I was moving back. Stand clear of the boxes, he just had to shout. I'm not sure if they went inside. Did they go inside? Next to the horse? Did you see? Them? Let's see. Oh, goodness me. It's a real public spectacle, everybody, here right now. What was she thinking? I mean, she was not thinking anything. You can't think you've got a brain. Uh, hence, her just getting shouted at for walking into the box next to the horse. That's it, yeah. It's, uh, it's fatigue. No, let's put it. Oh my god, we're getting inside. Somebody else just got screamed at in the archers. I don't think I've ever, that I can remember recently, had a day with this much shouting. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> oh god, here we go again. Get ready for it, folks. Sweet shop time. Oh my. Every two seconds, somebody's getting screamed up for being in the arches. 
What on earth is going on? If it's like this now, everybody, what's it going to be like from the coronation? You don't even want to know, do you? Hold on. Okay. I think the Fruit Loops have just finally decided they're going to go back to uh, back to the hospital or back to the hospital bus. Do you want a little photo? We'll do it going through place. Want a photo, Will? Wow, turn around. There's, um... Oh, what's it? Sorry, I completely forgot. I posted a video of it this morning. Apologies for anyone watching. I completely forgot the name of it. It's, uh, one second, what is it called? It's the... Vatsaki, I think it's pronounced. Apologies if I get the... Oh my God, again. What on earth is going on here? Every second, somebody's getting screamed at for, for being too close to the arches. Wait, let's spend a bit of time in here. What is going on today? I honestly don't understand what's going on. Have people just gone mad or what? Everybody, it's the army officer tour guide with a tour group. Look, remember him. Look. Now, all these eagles in Napoleon's army were blessed by Napoleon himself, physically presented by Napoleon. To capture one is the same thing as capturing a colour. Italians flag. By anybody else's patience while we're here. That explains it. Yeah, that was the, uh, the apparently uh, self-proclaimed ex-army officer that gives the tours here. He's a good guy. He's uh, he's pretty humble and generally a good guy. Oh, that was close again. It's almost like a sort of I don't know a real-life version of uh, of a board game in some respects. You've got constant things that need to be paid attention to. You've got the guards moving around, you've got the changeovers, you've got horses going a little bit crazy when there's something out the front. You've got protests, you've got tourists that often, as I found out many times there when I tried to speak to people, can't speak a word of English. So no wonder everything is just completely and mind-bogglingly chaotic here all the time. Throwing the bell, you know, the ding-dong every 15 minutes and then the massive ring every hour, you've just got all of the ingredients. I think that some sort of medieval king probably sat down and thought, you know what, after the, uh, after the Civil War is over in the X hundred years, we're going to devise a cunning plan uh, <laughs> at a place that we might name Horse Guards in central London. And then boom, you know, the fact that all of this dates back to, to Charles II, etc., uh, makes it all the more coincidental and ideal. Because why? You know, we, have, we have Charles III coming in, uh, in two weeks. And all of this does date. Uh, Household Mounted Cavalry Regiment dates from uh, 1660, 1661, uh, mid 17th century. Just the, it's an extraordinary thing. It's almost perfection in a way, because it works. But at the same time, it's sort of how to say it? it's like these little glitches in the matrix. You know, it stops working occasionally when everything goes wrong. And today, it's gone wrong a hell of a lot, in a good way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it is. You know, every time I walk through these arches, and I've walked through these arches hundreds of times, it is living history. It's exactly that. Slightly made the kid jump when he uh, he turned there and, and stamped a tiny bit. Let's see what happens now. Guards eye perspective, everybody. This is what the guard sees when uh, when he's marching through those crowds of tourists that don't bother to pay attention and just stand there with their cameras, not realizing. Let's have a look and see if he makes it. Oh, somebody's just having a rest on the floor, you know, as as you do. Just 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 uh, take a rest, sweetheart. Don't worry about the guard. Boom, straight back into the arches, looking flawless as usual. Flawless, flawless, flawless. Love to see it, honestly. Where's the other guard gone? One second, everybody. It's 
to be weaving in and out of the crowd. <laughs> the crowd. It's like a little worm. Worm city walks. London city worms. See, some smart parents are educating the kid. As long as you don't get too close, it should be all right. Simple as that. You know, it's not rocket science. It really isn't. However, I'm going to hopefully see the end of the inspection. Uh, I'm going to stay near the arches. Obviously, I'm going not going anywhere near the entrance because the sheer number of times we've heard them screaming today is, is unparalleled. Uh, yeah, four o'clock. Four o'clock is when the final inspection happens. This central courtyard um, gets closed at around seven-ish, between seven and eight apparently, um, depending on how, I don't know, how busy it is, whatever, I don't know, but I've been told between seven and eight. Um, and then there's a guard on duty all night in the stables to make sure the horses are okay. Let me uh, quickly ask the police if there's going to be an end of day inspection today or not. Get some clarification on that. That's okay. A second, everyone. Just a second. Sorry, is it another bit on the day today? Or no, uh, the four o'clock still going ahead. It is. Yes. Lovely, thank you. Okay, guys, so there will be a four o'clock inspection. You just said, the officer just confirmed. There will be an end of day four o'clock inspection in full as normal. So we'll, uh, we'll grab a good spot there for the end of day at four. Still not sure which corner, which, which spot. Uh, another 10 minutes out here, and I'm gonna head in there for the end of day at four o'clock. Exactly, yeah, I'm happy about that too. We didn't know, but now we do know. Good to see things slightly settling down. Hopefully this last half an hour, one hour or so will be relatively calm. question I don't know which captain we're going to see this is why I'm uh, quite intrigued myself with the end of day today uh, my guess is going to be on one of the tall captains I don't know if it would be the slightly fair haired guy uh, or the darker uh, darker haired brunette guy I don't know which one of the two it will be I'm thinking though as the regiments changed only yesterday let me see I was here the day before yesterday which was Thursday it was a short slightly shorter captain so it's, it's about 80% certain it'll be one of the tall, slim, exceedingly verbally loud captains uh, here for the end of day inspection. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye sort of just, just peeled a little bit to my right because at any moment the captain could well ride through the arches on his horse. So there's that to look forward to as well, potentially. Not sure whether she can pass it or not. Lovely, lovely, lovely horse. God, it's eyeballing her hand, I can see it. <laughs> Wait, some seconds, some more fruit loops coming along, everybody. Hey, look. Let me see which fruit loops. Start with climate change. There is in, there is an, uh, wait, what? It doesn't even make sense. The ghosts, I think. Stop climate change. The tooth fairy can't fix this. Okay. Great job, parents. What's this one? Oh, another be kind one. There's another one. Stop cutting down trees. Okay. I guess that means we don't need any more wood anywhere in the world, ever. Yeah, let's, let's stop cutting down trees. In fact, let's stop breathing. I wish they had a longer arm, I think. <laughs> he can't reach the horse. 
Oh, he's gonna get arrested, everyone. Not really. <laughs> he is literally up. Uh... <laughs> Trying to decide what to do next. Sick with the horse or what? What is that? Go on, here we go again with, with the tourist group. So, so this group is called Travel Europe, apparently. Another tourist group with an umbrella behind. Oh, Explore Europe is called this guy's. Travel group is explore Europe. <laughs> I'm hearing, luckily, faintly, some more drums along Whitehall. Let's hope they're not going to be some more sort of, you know, foody loop drum practice. French is behind me like Qu'est-ce qu'il fait C'est incroyable Avez-vous vu Tickle, 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 tickle Tickle, tickle Actually, wait, there's a lot of police here as well. One second, I'm wondering why there's so many police. Wait, they seem to be enjoying the, uh, the views with the rest of the public. Look, they just decided to stop off here. Officers meeting. Oh. Even the police are like, damn, that's cool. He's going to shout at them, I'm pretty sure he will wait. Which just just push past the arm, just push past the arm. Yeah, a lot bit a lot of toys getting massively owned today here. Hugely, too many people. It was very very close, guys. Super 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 close. It's interesting to me, in fact, that um, that the police that are here on duty are also enjoying, you know, watching the guard come out, walk around, etc. Make sure the uh, the boxmen are okay and they go back inside. Hey, thank you. You have a good day in, in uh, beautiful, sunny, heaven-on-earth Thailand as well. I, I actually don't know, in fact, um, to be honest. If, if uh, there's another... One second. I would guess maybe there's another protest coming along. I can't quite, uh, can't quite hear everyone. been a crazy day here today like it's been many weeks since there's been a day like today that's for sure it's not even over yet i mean it's almost over and i'm sure the car the uh, guards can't wait to go and uh, go and have a rest and indeed the horses too for that matter extraordinary no i mean all of it was just an extraordinary never-ending melee of chaos oh sorry it's okay
the helicopters back up again as well, so something's happening. I don't know if it's maybe uh, Extinction Rebellion Plus. I've just noticed actually, in addition to the officers that are here, um, there are other officers there on bikes, several vans behind, tons of police vehicles going by constantly. And over there, there's a whole line of police vehicles just behind that red bus. So, my guess is going to be that once they've finished here, end of day inspection, uh, I'm pretty sure at that point we're going to have uh, protests coming along from Parliament Square to horse guards here. Here we are, historical London, everybody, with an old Routemaster bus. Beautiful. Glorious. Oh, and there's another one. Just after that one finishes, here comes another, bo another bus. This is a Birgit's afternoon tea bus. All happy, smiley tourists having their uh, their tea and biscuits on the back of the bus. Wow, I mean, what, what can you say? No. Yeah, despite the chaos, this amazing city does still seem, I have no idea sometimes, to function. On a base level, it functions extremely well. Exceedingly well, to be honest. I know, I've seen people walking along here with cactuses on their head, all kinds of weird stuff today. Honestly, I don't know if it's sort of national, uh, national hospital release or whatever's going on, it's just weird. Very, very, very curious day today. Exceedingly curious day. And uh, judging by the number of police, it's not over yet. Yep, <laughs> always like that, it's inevitable. Apparently, uh, somebody told me recently, horses may kick or bite. It is, yeah. I don't know if this is maybe a nursing strike today, maybe that's why there were no uh, no carers for all these, these fruit loops, so they all were let out for one day and just given you like 10 pounds, hey, go to London and wander around, go to the Extinction Rebellion. They were given some crayons, a piece of paper, and told to head to Parliament Square. I think that's what happened. Something like that, anyway. It's like, you know, I'll draw you a map. This is Big Ben, in Trafalgar Square, and these are the horses. Just this one, honestly, I swear. It's just... I don't even need to tell you guys, you've seen it you know, yourself. And the green crayon, that's for the trees. It's just, oh goodness me. Anyway, um, it's 10 to 4. Uh, no, Lorna, I've only been outside uh, today on the live for about six and a half hours. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness me. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I'm going to speak to the police. Um, I see two more of them arriving. I'm going to speak to them after the end of day inspection to find out uh, what's going on. What's this? Oh, look. Save the dolphins, everybody. Let's, uh, let's save a dolphin. Yeah, let's, let's just walk along horse guards with a dolphin on our head. Look, I mean, seriously, what, what, what is that exactly? Is it a tuna or I don't know, it looks like a dolphin. Honestly, it's just the whole thing is just, what can you say? Honestly, the last time I saw this many crazy outfits, I was at a clown conference. Reenchantment is resistance. Okay, whatever that means. This down here, look, see that? Reenchantment is resistance. Hey, peace man, I mean, charming is existence, it's resistance. I think she spent uh, a couple of days in uh, in High Park during 420, got completely stoned out of her mind, went home, borrowed her kids' crayons uh, and drew that placard. 
Honestly. Like what? Right, everybody. Uh, wait, they're going to move the horse. Oh, yeah, of course they're going to move the horse. So I'm going to go back inside it. Oh, sorry, it's okay. I'm going inside, everybody. End of day. Wait. Did you all see that, everybody? Extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Actually, wait, I'm not sure why the policemen have come inside the gate to watch the inspection. Maybe just uh, as a courtesy. Curious. Lucky everybody, they've closed the gates already, this gate's still open, but there's no space for anybody, look, it's completely full in here for the inspection. It's an interesting sight to my left everybody as well. Look. Okay. Oh, the policeman almost just fell on the floor. Caught his foot on the post there. Oopsie. Yeah, he just stumbled over the over the post. I've done that myself a few times. That's why. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of expected that. Those two uh, two markers on the floor there um, are where the gate opens. Everybody always sort of trips over those. You know, slightly inconveniently placed, but it is what it is. Yeah, he, he almost fell over. And if, in fact, with this many people here, that would have been a little bit embarrassing if he'd uh, if he'd fallen on the floor. Oh, make way for the police. <clears throat> oh, actually the police are opening the, uh, the doors to the box. The troopers not coming out to do it, I'm curious. Oh, we're seeing TSG as well, uh, Territorial Support Group vans, the Navy vans, a whole lot of them lined up there. So I dare say they're anticipating potentially um, either a protest or something going wrong. One, two, loads of TSG vans there through the box. Uh, I'll find out what's going on there after we finish the other day inspection here. We got through the gate just in time, didn't we? Very, 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 very lucky. Exceptionally lucky, in fact. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Gates are about to open. I'm very curious to see which captain it's going to be, everybody. We'll find out in just a moment. Uh, two minutes, roughly. Anyway, the troop are coming up first, obviously, followed shortly by the captain. As we hear the uh, the ding dong, will be the captain. <laughs> anyway, we're in a different spot today. We're going to see the troop line up behind us. Sorry, in front of us, as opposed to where I normally am, where they're behind. Yeah, it's been just 
Everyone said the same thing, completely ridiculously busy. Okay, we've got quite a good spot, everybody. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Interesting. Actually, I've just noticed for the first time here. Not that it matters, but I've actually only just noticed. This is the first time I've ever seen end of day inspection without a single female guard. Every single guard here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over in the arches, and of course next to me, every single one of the guards that's here today is a guy. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Twelve, 12 guards in total here in the courtyard right now. Yeah, just a freaky coincidence. Um, the lifeguards do have more women than the booze and royals, but just one of the you know, anomalies, statistical anomalies today. It's very, very, very unusual to see that, in fact. Yeah, they can, yeah. Very rarely we've actually seen two women, two lady lifeguards, um, on duty um, in the horse boxes at the same time. It's, it's incredibly rare, um, but there are always one or two female uh, things lifeguards here. So it's uh, yeah, a very unusual thing to see today. Just like the Union Jacks that have been hung, the fact that we've the first time ever uh, the police are inside the gate watching. I don't, I don't know why they're here or what they're waiting for. I don't know if they're here because they want to watch or perhaps anticipating crowd control. I have no idea. We saw many, many, many things today that I've, ne that I've never seen before. So it's going to take ages to go through the footage tonight. We saw so many shouts, so many tourists getting massively owned as well. Okay, we're almost there. Ready for the, cat the captain's coming out, everybody. Here comes the captain. Ever, ever, I've seen a female captain here. Amazing, what an amazing sight. I feel super privileged to be seeing this. I've never, ever this year seen a female captain at end of day inspection. <laughs> if she's not a captain, what's her rank? I believe, um, one second, I can't see, I can't see from the arm. She is an officer and I'm 95% certain she's a captain. Anyone watching, military people, could you confirm for me please the rank of the, uh, of the lady performing the inspection? It's typically a captain here for end of day, so who, who is this? Second lieutenant? No, this is a different regiment. Yeah, she's a captain, I thought so. The other regiment we're watching, um, 3 9 Engineer Regiment, um, they're not here today. They, they will not be on uh, horse guards. They're at the palace from, uh, from tomorrow morning. So, no, this, this lady is not one of the troopers that arrived from Scotland. Not unless she miraculously decided to change regiments in the last 24 hours. But yeah, what, what a spectacular sight to see a female captain. Honestly, I'm, I'm shocked and, and impressed in equal measure. Beautiful thing to see. It's a good question. I don't know, this is why I was curious when somebody just mentioned she's not a captain. It's always a captain that performs end of day inspection here. So thanks guys for clarifying that she is a captain.
Yeah, but I think I just fell in love, literally. The captain. All of you ladies normally get spoilt with the uh, with the good-looking male captains. My turn today, folks. She actually got a lovely voice. Very authoritative. Very well spoken. Exceedingly clear pronunciation. But yeah, I think uh, I think I'm falling in love, everybody. I'm going to have to pause the live in a minute. Extraordinary. Get our power right there, everybody. Late. Amazing. That was literally my favourite end of day inspection ever. Extraordinary. I'm speechless. Now I don't know um, if there's been another female captain before the end of day inspection this year, but if there has, I haven't seen it. So that was uh, that was a first ever for me. Extraordinary. She was absolutely lovely, so elegant, so professional, so authoritative. Honestly, twelve guys, twelve big guys. She just came out. Hey, guys, I'm the boss. Lap it up. Love it. I will definitely, yeah, uh, I will definitely, definitely, definitely get some clarification. Although everybody, uh, Alex is in a different uh, regiment. Alex is not a Blues and Royals. Alex is a lifeguard. Going to watch the guard going into the arches, everybody, etc. He's going to walk over into the arches right now. Guys, keep the tunnel clear, please. Make sure you keep the tunnel clear. No changes. Guys, make sure you keep the tunnel clear, please. We'll wait a few minutes, etc. So the guard is going to come back out. Actually, even the police are not sure whether they're changing or not. They're just kind of clarifying it. Mr. Captain John. I wish I were, in fact. If I were a captain, I could, uh, I could tell the female captain that, uh, as we're of the same rank, she's uh, more than welcome to DM me. Okay, wait, hold on, who's this? Oh, it's the Corporal of Horse. Hold on a second, could this mean, potentially, that, uh, second. Okay, so Corporal of Horse just dropped the chain. So they are going to change over the foot guards. This is what the police were clarifying a few minutes ago. Are they going to change over? And yes, they are, it seems. Oh, massively, yeah. I mean, you, know, you girls like a guy in uniform. Can't blame me for liking a lady in uniform. It works both ways, everyone. <laughs> Captain John. Right, 
like. This is a guard's perspective, everybody, right in the front. The other guard is going to come through in a moment. The police are moving everybody out of the way. So don't get it. there's not going to be a shout. This guard is not going to scream at everybody unless, uh, unless they're really slow. They're straight through. Look, they literally just parted. Just like the Red Sea there for, for Moses. Boom. Love it. Seeing the captain, everybody. Oh, the female captain. I'm going to hang around a little bit, not not to stalk the captain. Uh, but again, we might well, if we're lucky, we might well get the female captain coming out from the stables on horseback. She's still in there, still still looking at the captain. Everyone else is low. Everyone else is sort of frozen around here, not not understand they're allowed to move like robots. Everyone's giving me the dirty eye because they think I'm in the wrong spot. So yeah, I'm going to stay.